Hello friends, today we will learn about what is video conferencing. Video conferencing is a medium where two or more people at different locations can meet face to face in real time. Video conferencing offers new possibilities to connect with guest speakers and experts. One can make relevant learning opportunities more accessible and exciting. Why we should use video conference? Video conferencing provides students with the opportunity to learn with experts rich in knowledge and experience. Such experts are often in distant places. Video conferencing provides students with an opportunity to observe the discovery of facts in real time. A video conference activity promotes attention and authenticity. It combines lecture with interactive learning which ensures that content is covered while engaging students and giving them real world experiences. In order to plan for a video conference, coordinate with the staff, develop a script and post an agenda. Prepare to interview the experts, develop interview questions, interview the experts and finally record the answers. Site preparation. Be sure that all sites have the necessary equipments. Be sure that people in all sites including the guests and students are visible to one another. How often should video conferencing be used? It depends on number of parameters such as the content and the student activities. Advantages of video conferencing The planning required for video conferencing contributes to the quality of students' learning experience. Video conferencing accommodates a variety of different learning styles like videos, audios, animations and so on. Video conferencing affords students the opportunity to develop and improve various communication skills like presentation, communication and interviewing. So here we have provided a brief introduction to video conferencing. Thank you.